For those of you who have been fans of Top Dog Tips for many years, uh, you may remember that we had a boxer who was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. Uh, when she was diagnosed, we worked very closely with our veterinarian, a canine nutritionist, and uh, a canine cardiac specialist to create a diet for her uh, that would be beneficial for heart health. And of course, she was on um, multiple medications as well to uh, try to help that condition. We were able to keep her for about two and a half years after her diagnosis, which was about two years longer than uh, the specialist that we were working with had anticipated. I credit a lot of that to switching her diet. Uh, we, of course, had to cater the diet to her individual needs. Um, your dog is not necessarily going to benefit from the same heart healthy diet that our dog did. There are many factors that will play a part in the best diet for your dog. Of course, health condition is part of that. Um, and while your dog may be diagnosed with congestive heart failure, there may be other health issues going on that will need to be addressed through diet, uh, which can become a very tricky balancing act. Uh, your dog's breed, age, weight, all of those things are going to play a part in that. Uh, so today I am sharing this homemade dog food for congestive heart failure, but keep in mind that this is just a really basic starting point. You should take this recipe, consult your veterinarian, a canine nutritionist, a canine cardiac specialist, whoever you're working with as well, consult with your team. Um, they may make some tweaks to this recipe, switch out some ingredients, um, perhaps add some supplements that your dog may need on top of the nutrients found in this recipe. Um, you want to, the, the key really is to keep uh, a low sodium diet um, while of course giving those vitamins and minerals um, that your pet is going to need while trying to limit fat and sodium and some of uh, those nutrients that uh, you need to be really careful of when your dog has a heart condition. As you can see, there's a lot going on in order to prepare to make this dog food recipe for congestive heart failure. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do in this pot right here, I have about a cup of water and I'm going to boil a half a pound of chicken gizzards. And I'm gonna boil those for about 10 minutes. Uh, they will just cook through basically. Um, they won't be super tender or anything, but they will cook completely through in about 10 minutes. In this back pot over here, I'm going to boil three eggs for 10 minutes to hard boil those. And then over here in this pan, I'm going to be browning two pounds of lean hamburg or lean ground beef. Um, and also two pounds of lean ground turkey. I'm gonna cook those right up together. Uh, if you'd like to separate them, you can, but I'm gonna go ahead uh, and do those in the same pan. So uh, once these have cooked completely, once my meat is browned and um, my other two ingredients that are boiling are finished, uh, I will come back and uh, do the next step to making this dog food. The next step in the process is going to be to add your cooked chicken gizzards uh, to your food processor. You're also going to add one sweet potato. I've sliced it uh, just so it's a little bit easier to process. I also have an apple that I've cut into pieces. My three hard boiled eggs are going in here. I have a cup of peas. I'm sorry, I actually have six ounces of peas. Um, and then I also have six ounces of broccoli and six ounces of, col uh, of cauliflower. And I used frozen, you don't have to use frozen. Um, if you don't want to, you can use fresh, but it's six ounces of each. I'm gonna process this a little bit just uh, so I have some more room to fit the rest of my veggies in there. I can fit the rest of my broccoli and cauliflower in there now. Um, and I'm just going to process this until it's fairly smooth. I know there is a lot of prep work for this recipe, but we are finished with the prep work finally. So now we're gonna combine all of our ingredients in a large bowl. The first thing I'm gonna add into here is three tablespoons of coconut oil. Coconut oil is a super food for dogs. It's a really uh, beneficial 
type of oil that's great for skin and coat health, uh, digestive health, it's good for um, the brain function. There are a lot of uh, different benefits to coconut oil for dogs. Um, so I have that in there and I also have a cup of rice. Um, this is a cup of cooked white rice and I just cooked it as you can tell with the steam coming off of it. Um, so this is a cup of cooked rice. It was about a half a cup of dry rice um, and then of course after you cook it, it uh, it absorbs the water and um, becomes about a cup. And I am adding this in there warm because as you can see, it's melting the coconut oil. Um, if you have the rice and you cooked it in early on and set it aside, um, that's fine. Just melt the coconut oil in the microwave for a few seconds before adding it to the mixture. Um, I'm also going to add in my ground beef and ground turkey. I have uh, drained the meat and rinsed it very well um, to remove as much of the fat as possible. Even though they were both lean, um, there was still a little bit of fat, of course. Uh, so I did that. So I have my rice. I'm just gonna toss this really quickly. Um, and then I have 14 ounces of canned tuna. And you wanna get the tuna that's in water. Um, and I'm going to add that in here. And I have half a cup of cottage cheese to add. And then the final thing that I'm going to add is that mixture from my food processor, which had uh, the veggies, the eggs, um, and something else, right? Oh, the chicken gizzards are in here as well. Now I can see them. So I'm going to add that and I actually might even get a bigger bowl, uh, but I'm just gonna toss this all around, make sure everything's really thoroughly mixed and uh, that's it, it's good to go, it's ready to serve your dog. Here is my homemade dog food for congestive heart failure. Um, our chocolate lab does not have that issue, thankfully, but um, as you can tell, she loves this food. Hopefully your dog will as well. I recommend feeding about uh, half a cup for every 20 to 25 pounds of body weight. Uh, as with any homemade dog food diet, it's really important that you discuss this diet change with your veterinarian or a canine nutritionist. Uh, you don't want to have nutritional deficiencies on top of heart issues, so it's extremely important that you talk to an expert trained in canine nutrition before making the switch. They can also help you find the right serving size for your dog. More active dogs will need more calories, while less active dogs may not need as many. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to email me. Thanks.